I'm Steven Garner, welcome to Next Q. I'm gonna share with you my five cues that you need to develop a powerful image. If you are a leader, a powerful image will influence people to follow you. If you are an influencer, a powerful image will empower people to follow and engage you. If you are a celebrity, a powerful image will protect your brand reputation. If you are an athlete, a powerful image will protect your career. And that's why I think it's so important that you understand what you should not do when you're trying to develop a powerful image. I'm Stephen Garn. This is Next Q. Stay tuned. So there are five cues that I'm gonna share with you today. Number one, stop copying someone else's identity. An identity is a self-expression of a person's imagination. So when you copy someone else's identity, you are basically saying, I am that person. You can't be someone else. You can only be you. And I know some people do this because they look at another person's success and they say, you know what? I want to have that same success as that other person. But the problem is that person's success is based on their self image. That's why you have to focus on what makes you different, what makes you unique and focus on expressing your identity. Number two, stop following all of the trends. Now listen, every trend is not going to benefit you in the same way it did the person who started the trend. That's why you shouldn't jump on every bandwagon. And I see some people out there doing weird things on TikTok and all these other things that other people are doing. And yes, they may have a lot of views and likes, but that trend is not necessarily going to help you to gain the success that you are truly seeking. You saw someone else do it and you want to do it now because you want the same success. No, that's why it's so important to be unique. Number three, Stop commenting on every issue. Now listen, words, text, video, all these things create an image of you. And it's important if you're not an expert or if you don't want any backlash or you don't want to be associated with the movement that may have some negative traction, stop commenting on these things. You don't have to say something about every issue, especially if you are a celebrity and I know you have a prominent position and I know the media or your audience may be pressuring you to say something. You don't have to comment on everything. Think about the consequences of what you say. Your words create a picture in the mind of your audience. And if that picture is not good, it's going to distort your image. Number four, stop ignoring what makes you unique. Okay, man, I can't believe this is free. Stop ignoring what makes you unique because what makes you unique is your value. That's what you deliver. And you need to make it crystal clear of what you have to offer, why people should invest in your image, why people should pay you to sponsor their products. Why is that important? Because you have something unique, something that no one else has that can be offered. And that's why it's so important that you must not ignore what makes you unique. Number five, start developing your personal image. Your personal image is critical. It's everything. So that means you need to research things about your character, your personality, your unique traits, and put the time in to tell a story about yourself. And when you do that, you're gonna act, you're gonna speak, and you're going to represent yourself based on who you want to be seen as to your audience. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment, and also provide any feedback on things that you would like to hear from me that will help you to improve your journey and empower your image so that you can live a great life. I'm Stephen Garner. Take your cues from me and live a great life. Next cue.